Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, how lovely are your branches? Schnitzel, your favorite tweet. T treat for little boys and girls to eat. I said tweet because I was thinking of Twitter. Application video. Send it in. Want to see my impression of every single Big Brother fight? Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they do that? Why did you do that? Oh my god, you threw that competition. Why did you throw the competition? Why won't you do that? Every single Big Brother fight. Oh, I still have it on. Why won't it stop? Oh my god. You don't like this one, so I have to turn it off. Stop. Friends. Oh my god. It's time for the show. Is this happening? With your favorite co host It is. Eric and Nicole. Could be worse. We got all you need from pop culture to what's on TV. Or not. We cover every day like Long Island Strong, North Shore, South Shore, all week long. Please stop. So let's get started, friends. Cause us two got a lot to say. We do? We're gonna make you laugh. They're laughing. Put a smile on your face today. Hello, every... No, Nicole, I don't do this. It's time for the show. Why are we... No. You're doing great. With your good friends... Er I'm not doing this, Nicole. This is ridiculous. I don't sing. Just start the show. Let's go. Start the show. Fine. Hello, Nicole. Hello. Hello, Eric. Hello. I am so excited for this show, uh, our little Big Brother casting special, where we are going to be joined by one of the Big Brother um, casting agents, Jesse. But more on that in a moment. First, let's let you guys know that wherever you are watching this show, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the places that we create content, you guys following, commenting, liking, subscribing, all great free ways to help support our shows. Of course, sharing as well. Share the show now. This one's not live. So you can go ahead, share it with someone that you think might love it. Give it out this Easter season. Shove it in a be bed. <gasps> Shove it in an egg. And stick it in your basket. This is where I was going with that. Um, and give it out this uh, Easter weekend. If you think that there are people that would like I, I, the shows, I'm not opposed to you stealing grandma's phone and downloading the podcast or subscribing, liking, hitting that bell and thumbsing up on you. Do it all. Do it all with everyone's phones. And of course, if you need to find those places, you can head over to Hello Friends Pod. Dot com, the Find Us Live page for all of my socials, Nicole's, the shows, our schedule, and more. And what about if they're listening to the podcast version, Nicole? If you are listening to that audio podcast version, hello there. Please leave a five-star rating, a positive review, and again, share the podcast with all of your friends and family members and neighbors. It's the holiday season, so stick that in an egg as well. And in your ear holes, podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like we said, we are super excited for this show. For those of you that have ever uh, wanted some more insight into the Big Brother casting process, if you wanted to know if applications are still available for you to apply this season, if you want to know right from the people that cast the show, what are we looking for? What do we hate? In their own words, you're about to get it right now. So, Nicole, take it away. We're talking about the holiday season. Throw back to a previous holiday. Oh, Tannenbaum. Oh, Tannenbaum. <laughs> Our friends, we are joined by BB23 Casting, Jesse. <laughs> Hello, Jesse. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. We're excited for Big yeah. Brother season. Ah, so am I. I'm stoked. <laughs> Super excited. I think that this is going to be a great thing for people to get to learn more about the casting process, the things that you guys are looking for. So we are so excited to get into some of these uh, topics with you. No, I'm excited too. You know, I get DMs all the time. And as you can imagine, it's like, I would love to get back to everybody and give them advice. That's why sometimes I do like an Insta story, just kind of like trying to break it down. 
um, so I can answer as many questions as possible. So this is great. I'm excited to just kind of let it all out and let's talk about it. Yes, absolutely. So we do want to start with a little bit about you and your backstory and maybe how you got into casting or how long you've been on the Big Brother casting docket. Um, This way people have an idea of like who you are, where you are in there. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, of course. I I moved to to LA in 2003, so forever ago. And I kind of just got into first, I was a modeling agent. I represented male models, which was interesting. Uh, you know, I'd set them up for, you know, hey, here's $10,000 to shoot a, for five hours. And then they, I get phone calls nonstop, like, where's Alex? He's late. It's like, Alex, where are you? Why aren't you on time? He's like, oh man, last night was epic. I'm like, <laughs> getting $10,000 to shoot for five hours. So after doing that for three years, I was like, I need to step away from this. And I've always loved reality TV. And I kind of reached out to a friend who worked at MTV and I started uh, recruiting for parental control. And I did that for like, I would say like a solid year. And I was just living the life like, you know, like people, you know, you go up and you recruit people, but I, you know, I think smarter, not harder. I would go to 18 and up nightclubs and I would, you know, put the banner up casting and all of a sudden the DJ for me would make an announcement and then hundreds of kids would come up and I would pick out who I think, you know, you know, having an eye who could be good. And I would have just like a database of people while all the other recruits are working seven days a week, like running up to people and talking to them. I was like, wait a minute, this is a little bit of a smarter idea. So I did that for about a year. And then the first job I got as a casting associate was actually one of one of my favorite shows besides Big Brother and Survivor and Amazing Race, of course, was uh, MTV's Legally Blonde Search for the Next Elle Woods. It was epic. Eric's Eric excited about that one. My favorite. That's my favorite. That was my favorite. I saw it like 15 times on Broadway. I could not wait until MTV oh. did that. Oh, my God. My favorite. It oh. was one of my favorite casting experiences just like you know traveling i did new york and i did orlando and just having thousands of of amazing talented people come you know and i I was expecting like american idol you know where some people are just like wait what are you doing here we had we had like one which was Uh funny Uh but uh the rest it was just it was such a great experience and then i just kept moving and i kept moving and i worked on all these different shows um like master chef and everything and sheer genius which was on bravo And then I just kind of, I, my eye was always on the prize CBS. It really was. And I always wanted to be on survivor or amazing race. I even took a a pay cut to work as a production assistant on a season of survivor. And I got my foot in the door and I just kept working my way up and Kurt kept working my way up. And then I've been consistently with with survivor and, and amazing race and just CBS in general, I would say for almost like 11, 10 years now, something like really? that. Um, yeah. Wow. I have to say now, so I'm going to, I, I want to be very clear. So when you were talking about your nightclub uh, casting and all of those things, that's what you were doing in the past for other shows because i know i can already see the messages from the people that are going to be like we knew it this is the way big brother get cast they all come from nightclub because that is a very big complaint that i think a lot of people seem to be very critical of of they feel that that's the thing and i cannot wait to have you here to say that's not true you do you are not casting from that pool for every single season right I mean, we've never done something like that for never. Big Brother or Amazing Race Survivor. We have open casting calls, which unfortunately mm-hmm. we weren't able to do this year because of uh, obviously because of what's going on in the world. But no, normally w- when we do travel, it's it, you know, we're promoting as much as possible so the fans do come out and and new people. You know, sometimes yeah. new people play the game really well, and we typically arrive in a city a few days before the open casting call. And yeah, do we go out and about and try to find interesting, fun-looking people, people that have great personalities? We sit back, we kind of like observe, and we see them in their friend group how they're like interacting, and and you know, yeah, of, co- of course we do that as well. But no, we we do not just go to a nightclub and just be like, "Come on, pretty people, like let's yeah. do this." No, I mean our goal is obviously to get people that make great television people that are are competitive especially this season i really want this to be one of the most diverse competitive seasons we've ever seen and that's my goal and that's really what i want to do and i'm sure that's a goal every season but i i I feel like we're gonna we're gonna knock it out of the park this season i'm stoked 
Yeah, we saw the article that CBS put out saying they want to increase diversity across their shows, which is incredible to see. And I'm I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, no, I, I'm really excited. We have like so many great people that have just applied in general, but I feel like that, that announcement alone made a lot of people feel even that much more comfortable to apply. And I, it, it's a great feeling to be a part of, you know, the change that is happening. And, you know, you're going to see it on upcoming seasons of Survivor. You're going to see it on up- upcoming seasons of Amazing Race and obviously the season of Big Brother. Wow. I, we're we're even seeing it right now on Big Brother Canada. So for anybody that thinks like, oh, maybe, you know, it feels a way about it. A lot of people are saying this is the best season of Big Brother Canada they've ever seen. I loved it as, you know, a gay man that, oh, my God, we had two gay guys on. I don't know when we've ever seen two, well, two out gay guys, Kaz on the same season of a Big Brother. And and then that's just for me. But then diversity wise and other, you know, races, it is amazing to see just this new dynamic and one that's more inclusive of all types of people. So that is one of the things that I'm so looking forward coming to our Big Brother this season. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I agree with you, and the diversity will be there. Will, can I promise you there'll be two gay men that are out of the closet? I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, this interview's <laughs> over. <laughs> Bye. We're, no, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sell you. I would like to start my presentation on why we need two gays. <laughs> no, okay. Um. Well, I mean, let's jump in to Big Brother, because that is why we were here. What are what are some of the questions that you get asked most frequently when it comes to casting Big Brother? Or what are like misconceptions that you think about uh, things people want to know or think about the casting process? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the questions we get are, do you watch every submission? Mm-hmm. Above, above and beyond, do we watch every submission? Sometimes mm-hmm. we go through some of the states twice and some of the cities twice, you know? So um, we definitely watch every single submission. Uh, We are making calls. I would say, you know, because people are like, well, when can I just like let, let go and just kind of like move on to like trying again next season. Um, You know, I would say we were making calls through like mid May, even possibly the end of May. So if it's May 31st, my birthday, I'm sorry, this is the worst birthday gift to you guys. If you don't get a call by May 31st on my birthday, it just didn't work out this season. Um, that's definitely a question we get a lot. Uh, a lot of people were concerned with, I submitted my video before the transition of casting directors. Is that still in there? Is that still in the database? Yes, it is. Uh, did I didn't get a, a confirmation email. Does that mean you got my my our, our submission? As long as you got that refresher page saying, like confirming through that page, we got your video. Um, should I apply... Should I submit 17 videos? Please don't. (laughs) Don't. Unless for some reason you did submit a video that was literally a TikTok of you doing one of those stupid dances that those kids like make so much money for doing. Like I picked the wrong career. I love my job, but like it's it's crazy to me. So it's like if if you are great and you really want this, submit a real video. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, and then also people are definitely mentioned the fact that like I can't, I made such a great video. I spent hours on it and it's a certain megabyte, gigabyte. To me, that's like, I don't even understand that myself. So I I said it on my Insta story, just hack the system in a sense and upload a really quick video of you talking and say, hey, I made a video. It's on the bottom. It's where it's where my bio is. I, I uploaded it to YouTube. Set it to unlisted, though. Okay, so only we can wow. see it, and um, we'll take a look at your full video. So I think you know I got to give people the benefit of the doubt when they submit a video that's like a millisecond that maybe they just gave up because they couldn't upload their video. But now you have no excuse because I told you here, <laughs> and I told you on my Instagram to make a real video. Otherwise, what's the point? I I love that a lot because me, you know, especially two years ago, not being technologically savvy, I must have done so many questionable things, questionable emails, like down the line, like videos wouldn't send, pictures wouldn't send. And I think as long as you show that you're trying to like upload the stuff and it's there and you put in the effort, because Lord knows technology is not uh, the most friendly. What's also funny is when someone like they are having problems before they, they don't, they don't do the YouTube thing. 
they have a certain amount of time to make a video. So they spend the first 45 seconds of their videos saying, I'm so sorry, you're not getting the video that I wanted. Um, I really tried really hard. It just, I tried this and then I tried that. And, I, and the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, you're wasting time. Just talk. Tell us about yourself. Like, don't tell us about that. You're just like taking the short amount of time you have to upload. And now you have this much time to tell us about yourself. So just if you can't figure out the video thing, I recommend the uploading and just put it in your bio and we, we will watch it. Love that. I, I now feel like we got into the wrong, like, or I got into the wrong job. But I think, Nicole, we should just be like, we should just create people's casting videos. <gasps> like, we it's can like help. Up. Please no. don't. Can I, can I say this real quick? What, there why are, no? There are, well, why no? Because number one, you are going to make them someone they possibly are not. Oh, that's mm. a good point. There are companies out there which I, if you do not pay a company to help you through this casting process, okay? Okay. I think it's it's wrong. I think if you have a friend that wants to help you out and film it and edit it for you, that's fine. But if you have someone coaching you through how to have the right personality for the show, Mm -hmm. the truth is going to come out when we interview you and you know right. there's countless people apply for our show obviously thousands and thousands of people apply for their show and every single person is special every single person is important every single video we watch but the fact is this is big brother okay you are on tv three nights a week we have the live feed. So there is a very specific personality type we tend to go for. Um, I feel like every single person that applies, there is a show out there for them. It just, it might not be Big Brother. And right. if you're one of those people and you haven't gotten a call, I'm not saying Big Brother isn't for you. I'm just saying maybe it also just wasn't this season or the season you tried out before. Like never give up on something you want, you know, because that's right. what makes a good Big Brother player. But um, Big Brother, it, it, it's a different beast. It's a different yeah. animal. You know, it is. I guess, let me rephrase. I think what I would love to do is watch the casting video and then give them the feedback of that 45 minutes in the beginning is pointless. You're wasting time. Because I do agree with you. I think the biggest thing, and Nicole has said this all along whenever people have asked her, is to be yourself for the exact reason that you just said. We're watching you 24-7. It's going to come out. You can't keep up this yeah. fake persona for but, that long. But yes, go ahead. I, I would almost ask, like, Jesse, what does it mean to be yourself? And I know that sounds so weird, but I think a lot of people, yeah. they go, yeah. to it, like, be myself. Okay, um, let me go get a costume I wore once three years ago and try to sell myself. Or, okay, what's me? Let me, like, I think sometimes be yourself is so... Okay. Well, let, let, yeah, let's, like dig, let's dig into that. Let's dig into that. The first thing I say is I like off the cuff, like almost don't have an idea of what you're about to say. You know, like, you know, you, you obviously you want to say things about yourself, right? But it could be as candid as maybe you're better in, in motion and movement. So you're going selfie style with your camera, horizontal, not vertical, ideally, and just go for a walk in your neighborhood and just start, just start talking. Because that 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 breeds it shows us like energy and it shows that we look for ex look how I'm talking right now even yeah, like I'm, I'm right. I use I use my hands when I talk and this is the diary room right that's what we look yep. for when we're talking to people is would they be right. good in the diary room so when I say be yourself just be authentic and don't have a script if you have a script if this mm -hmm. sounds like a job interview and you're using three syllable words because you want to sound perfect no one's perfect. If that's really who you are, be that person. But like when we, when I hear words like I'm ecstatic at this opportunity to be able to present myself to you in the casting team, it's like, do you really talk like that with your best friends? Like, I want to know what do you, what do you look like behind closed doors after you had the worst date of your life and you met up with your girlfriends or your guy friends, you're like, I need a cocktail. I got to tell you about what that date, what just happened, whatever that looks like, yeah. whatever that conversation looks like is what I want to see. So yeah. you have to give things about yourself. You have to. You, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people say the same things. They say the same broad and general statements. And broad and general statements get you nowhere. We're looking for good storytellers. We're looking for good talkers. So your whole video is just, there's no facts about yourself. 
You know, the proof is in the pudding. I'm really competitive. Oh my God, like for, ask any of my friends. They don't come over for game night anymore. I'm a people person. I love people. I love talking to people. So my social game is going to be on point. I'm going to be the best big brother player you've ever had. You've never had a Christie on the show or anything like It's just like, <laughs> no, just talk. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, where, are you fr- where are you from? What weird, interesting habits do you have? What do you do for a living? You know, because a lot of times it says occupation. But yep. there's only specific things you could choose. Maybe it's not exactly that same occupation. What's interesting mm-hmm. about it? Why did you get into it? What do you love about it? Do you hate your job? You know, why do you want to do Big Brother? Not just I'm a fan. I want to do Big Brother. But if there's a story there of like watching it from a young young age with your 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 dad, and you know he recently passed, and this is like I don't know, but just give something. So I understand probably the frustration of people being like I'm so confused when you say just be yourself. What does that mean? But sometimes maybe yourself is a mellow, low-key individual, and this is Big Brother. It might not be the right fit for Big Brother. It just might not be. There's there's many other shows where you could be like that, but this is, we are looking for pop. We're looking for you know people that are animated and just want to have fun. You know, I, I don't know if that helps. I hope that helps. It does. Yes, no. definitely. That helps and makes sense. Starting it, not having any idea what you're going to say is how Nicole and I have made Hello Friends so successful. <laughs> I'm like, also, Nicole. You know what? Curse. If you curse, it's fine. You know, like, this isn't, like, no one's ever going to see this video. Like, that just shows that you're you're letting your guard down and you're just being real. You know, like, right. I, I probably would have done it yeah. a few times already if that's allowed. I just have not. So. Oh, You're it is fucking allowed. allowed to curse all you want around here. <laughs> I it just makes more time. work for Nicole that she has to label it explicit. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. No, but I think that's, like, the biggest difference, like, I experienced in my two videos was the first one. I was so, <gasps> okay, it's a job interview. Let me just state facts and be very stone-faced and, you know, just list things, and that's good. And, and obviously didn't get a call back. And then the second time, I was like, mm, I'm just going to be unfiltered and be more myself. And I had, like, I had my bullet points, but examples, stories, and that was something that... I think throughout the process is obviously you're saying a big thing to have the stories to back up what you're saying. If you're saying you're funny, you got to make sure you're funny. If you're saying like, you're really smart, have the facts to say, I did this, I accomplished this, you know, cause like you said, I think, you know, yeah. sometimes people get stuck in the general, yeah. the general overarching themes. And, and don't say you're funny. Please don't say you're funny. Mm. If, if you're say, funny, you're just, if you're not, just funny, you're setting the bar high and I'm, I'm all I'm thinking is, Oh, I haven't laughed once while watching your video like don't say you're funny just be funny don't say you're yeah. smart you know i graduated with a 4.0 i went to duke university i graduated on, my, on the dean's list you know i'm the number one lawyer in my firm of 450 other lawyers and i'm the youngest like i'm here to fucking yes. win and i'm not gonna let anyone know i'm a lawyer like i'm not dumb enough to say that i'm a pizza delivery guy because i'm probably gonna talk have legal jargon while in the house and then I'm, I'm screwed. So I'm going to say I'm a paralegal, you know, like I'm a sneaky guy. Like I'll do what it takes to win. It's like, that tells me you're smart. So you don't have to say you're smart. You know? And, you know, I, I think a lot of people ask too, like how you said you were, you know, if you are a reserved person or if you're an out there person or you're this or you're that, I think another aspect of the casting process that, you know, we saw a lot from the questions we got about this show isn't a lot of casting how you think the group of people will work together. Because I know a, like a lot of people, obviously Big Brother fans, huge fans of the show, they get upset like, oh, I wasn't good enough. I've applied seven times, but it doesn't always necessarily have to be about you. It's the way you work in the group of people, correct? A hundred percent. As you can imagine, it's not just like, oh, we like this person. Let's put them on the show. We have a process and there's a lot of things people need to go through. And Nicole knows, Um, but it comes down to whoever ends up getting approved it's a puzzle piece. It really is like personality types and who's going to vibe off of who, who's going to fit with who, um, you know, it's that, that's, that's definitely the case in every show, every show. Have you, 
in your experiences uh, found that like typically what you guys kind of assume will be the dynamics tends to be, or have you often been like, Oh my gosh, well, wow, them two, I thought they'd be best friends and they're enemies or wow, well, them two are showmans. Didn't expect it. Or is it typically like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I mean, there's been some surprises, obviously, and this goes for every show I've worked on, right? We're not, we're not psychic. We don't know. We just have like kind of an idea, you know, with, with psych, we find out about people's personality types and, you know, how, how uh, aggressive they might be like towards like winning a competition or, Mm -hmm. you know, how, how well they would do in a social setting and, and all that. So we have ideas. I, I, I don't have a percentage for you, (laughs) but yeah, no, I, I think, I think we're pretty spot on, but sometimes we get surprised for sure. That's so funny. Like, like a Nicole and a Cliff BFFs. Nah, I think that was pretty well assumed. <laughs> like, come on. Or like, or like the showmance, Natalie Negrati and, and her showmance. Mm, true. Oh yeah, 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 that I is. Uh, well, and then look how that turned out. So, uh, <laughs> oh, well, it's big, James. Um, I, th- I think I'm missing something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, wasn't it Natalie and James on their seat? Weren't they kind of the yeah. ones that flirted a little bit? Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I mean, good. They're good. Uh, she's doing boxing now. She's she's all she's doing lots of different things. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I, I love mean, Natalie. Um, speaking of surprises, um, I we wanted to ask about you know some of maybe the more shocking things that you've received or pet peeves that you received over the years uh, throughout the casting process? I know you were earlier saying, you know, uh, TikToks or maybe Snapchat filters. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's interesting to me. I think, you know, the super fans, I think, know by now, like they, they submit real videos. And then there's people that just, you could tell from a video, okay, this is a generic video. They made one and they sent it to this show. 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 You could just tell. And if, if I, I find them interesting, I'm not going to hold that against them. I'll call them, but I call them out. I'm like, this, they'll, and they even say like, wait, which show is this with? I'm like, exactly. <laughs> like, I knew it. Um, but, you know, filters, I don't get that. Even with dating, it's like, you know, I mean, we've all done it, right? Not, not the personally done it, but we've gone on a date with someone. You're like, well, okay. Wow. Okay. Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do you do that when you know I'm going to see you in person and meet you in person? I think the self-love and confidence in who you are a makes a great house guest but b is is just such a it's it's such a better element i don't know what i'm trying to get at you know what i'm trying to say (laughs) like just don't why are you doing that you're it's it's like false advertising in a sense just be proud of who you are because that's the person that gets on the show the, the person that has the confidence so filters do not use filters um we already went over the tiktok thing um sometimes people shoot a video and it's like in a dark room and you know they're talking like this i really love to be on big brother and i feel like i might be a really good contestant because um it's like okay okay i mean (laughs) i i hope there's someone sleeping next door and that's why you're whispering but you know if that's the case why film it now Mm -hmm. film it tomorrow when that person's not home and you can like really show your personality and if that's your personality that's great for you, but it, mm-hmm. it might not be great for a show like Big Brother. Um, what other pet peeves? Um, uh, you know, just the same thing. It's not just a TikTok video. You know, a video of you just walking your dog. But I don't even get to see you walking your dog. I'm just seeing your dog and I'm seeing the leash. And I'm like, okay, like, why? And maybe there's a, a reason they couldn't figure out how to upload their full video. Mm-hmm. I'll True. give people the benefit of the doubt. But I would say... More so than not, it's just because they just don't care that much or they are applying for so many shows, you know? I think another, uh, well, I know another question that we got from a ton of people was about kind of what you just said about super fans. What do you want to say to people who ask, why don't you guys just cast all super fans on the show? I think that's very specific to the big brother audience, but I think that is who is mostly going to be watching this. So why don't you guys just do a whole season of super fans? Interesting. Because you'd be I boring. We, that's I, my answer. I, but what's your answer, Jesse? <laughs> listen, Eric, you, you, you speak your truth, right? I'm just going to say, our job is to find people that will make great television, but also hopefully be competitive and play a good game. I personally love strategy. I don't love 
people who float through the game. Mm-hmm. They will end up being floaters. Even if there was uh, the house was full of alphas, one of those alphas is going to take the back seat and be a floater, right? Yeah. But mm-hmm. when it comes down to it, we're trying to make a great television show. So once we go through the entire database and we've exhausted every effort with the super fans that have applied, we're going to do what it takes to make a great TV show. You know, and, yeah. and and that's just what it comes down to, you know, so apply. If you right. haven't applied before, that's the point of all this. Apply. If you applied before and you were in a dark room whispering quietly, but you know, like, that's not really not your personality. Submit a video where you're actually talking and in and, and letting us know who you are, which once again is a broad statement, but we talked about it earlier. Yep. And maybe it'll be different this time. You know, or if you're yeah. a super fan and it's just not working out for you, but you have a best friend who you secretly know would be great for the show, but never wanted to pass them off because you didn't want that to ruin your opportunity. Mm-hmm. Maybe get your best friend on the show and have him submit a video or her submit a video, you know, um, or in the past you've submitted really short videos, submit a better one, you know, but when it comes down to it, all these tips are tips to help you not to help you trick the system because yes. we're going to end up getting you on the phone and if you're the, the person who whispers quietly then you're the person that whispers quietly and it's it is what it is and it's fine it's fine that's just it's who you are and it, it might or might not be right for a big brother do you yeah. have um i mean it's a little bit different this year obviously with um all the restrictions and whatnot but do you have a preference as to whether people go to the open casting or videos and again this year is all videos but oh do yeah you- yeah okay no, uh, you know, obviously this year not happening. Uh, but in the future, if there's open call, if there's open casting calls again, I feel like to me, it's almost the same. To me, it's almost better to submit a video. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I know a lot of people want to, some people, whoever is watching this that's gone to the open cast calls, you know how short amount of time you have after waiting in line all that time after driving six hours and you get like, not that long to talk to people as opposed to I could tailor make a video to really sure. highlight who I am and send it to them and know, because I'm telling you, we mm-hmm. watch every video. So to me, that makes more sense. But there's been people that have gone to open cast. Scotty, you know, came to the open call and I was like, oh, I love him. And who knows, maybe he, maybe he wouldn't have made the best video. I did. I think I did. I'd go back and watch his video. I was like, oh, I probably would have called him anyway. Um, Davon came in and she sat at my table or stand at my table. I was like, oh, yes. It's like, so yeah, there is that pop factor. So if you feel like you just can't, your personality doesn't transcend into a video, then yeah, go to an open casting call. But I would recommend if you go to the one in Dallas and it doesn't work out, don't then buy a plane ticket and fly to Orlando and go to that one and then buy a ticket and fly. I appreciate the dedication. I love fans of our shows. It's it's great. But I feel like at that point, maybe something's missing or maybe it's just not the best in person. Uh, maybe you were at a table with a lot of people that just like, you know, kind of took control of the situation, but that's where a video probably is better. Right. And for the for those of you that are listening to the podcast version of it, we have had it up uh, on the video version of this show, but it is www.bigbrothercasting.tv. And of course, the link to that will be uh, below this video or in the description where you guys are listening to this show. Make sure that they know where to go. And I have to say, uh, because uh, I don't mean... Big Brother super fans are boring. I think having one group of any type of people is going to be boring. It's everybody being dynamic and bringing something different to the table is what I think makes Big Brother so compelling to watch is how different types of people have to make it through this game together. Agreed. Now, uh, Jesse, for the season, BB23, it's coming up. How much longer is the casting window open for people to submit their videos? Like, do they have like a week? Do they have more? So is there a hard drop date in my mind? I would say we're still going through the videos. There's still submissions we're going through because there are a lot. It would be amazing if you submitted everything by April 15th. That would be like a sweet spot for us. No later than April 15th. If you dropped your 
phone and it broke on April 15th and you're going to film it and you're like, oh God, now it's April 16th. I can't submit, submit your video. Mm-hmm. Right. It's okay. You know, but I would say once we're getting towards the end of April, it's getting a little bit harder to really consider you, but this is the time. This is the final push. Get out there, film a video. If you've already submitted a video that wasn't a TikTok and it was a legit real video, I would appreciate it if you followed the guidelines and don't submit again because that, that's taking away from our time. If you really feel in your heart you were in a dark room and whispering and that's really not you and you want to resubmit a video, by all means, I want you to have the best shot possible. But if you make another video and it's pretty much the same, it, it just, it's just more, more submissions to go through and it's taking it away from, from people we haven't you know, called yet. And we might call you still. You know, yes. we're still making calls. So, you, you know, you just, you never know until you get that call or until May 31st. <laughs> and then you yes. could ju- just and look forward to the premiere. I could confirm that because I was late, late, late. I started giving up hope and it was like mid-May, <laughs> early mid-May. And I was like, oh, damn. Okay. So c- keep the hope alive. You have like a month to submit your videos for this season. Um, but also as well, videos kind of roll over, correct, for like future. If you guys have somebody that maybe doesn't fit the puzzle this year, maybe will in the future. A hundred percent. That happens all the time. And yeah, I mean, in, in as much as the casting's closed at a certain point, mm-hmm. closed. <laughs> in, in in the middle of the season, if you if you are watching, you're like, a new, a new fan, you could apply then because that will be in the folder for the next season. And you're just one of the right. first people in there and, and we we're going to watch it. Right. I just, I think my um, main question is, are Nicole and I now considered um, casting people and are we going to get credit for the cast this season because of this show? Yeah, you, know, you send me someone, <laughs> email me, Nicole okay. has my email, and oh, if God. they get the show, we'll talk. We'll okay. Talk. Okay. All right. All right. Got so we got it. I'm trying to think of Eric. everybody. Oh, DM Eric instead of me. Write him. DM him. Send send your stuff to Eric. I have done a good ten years of convincing people that I do not read my DMs for that exact reason. So the people that listen to this show find they, out no. his address. <laughs> send him a package. Uh, I I got one the other day for Survivor. Just on my doorstep, a package. Was don't do that. Really? Don't yeah, do don't that. do that. Believe me, I Nicole and I have cameras around our houses for a reason, but we're also New Yorkers. So <laughs> do, do not come to our houses. No. Um, I know that um didn't you have one more thing, Nicole? I know that we have to wrap up. Yeah. Um I I wanted to ask about in general, obviously we have advice for like casting. What is your advice for those who make it to finals and even for those who make it into the house? Okay. Um, for those who make it through finals, you'll be, you will get advice from us. So that's something we discuss. It's not like you made it to finals. Okay. There you go. Good luck. No, you have a team of people. My, uh, my casting team and myself, we're dedicated. It's not just like, okay, here we go. Meet the producers, you know, by then we would have given you that advice, you know, be yourself, you know, be, uh, you know, we love that story. Make sure you, you let them know about that small town that you grew up in, you know, with one stop light or whatever it is, you know, it, it sounds so cliche, but the advice is to be yourself, you know, don't be nervous. Like we're all here to support you. I know it's intimidating when you walk into the room during casting finals or you're on a zoom even, but you just need to give the best 15, 20 minutes, however long the interview goes of your life. Like, just like, let them shine, let, let yourself shine. Because if it doesn't work out and you weren't yourself, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine like how you would feel be like, God, I, I, I choked. Like, don't choke. (laughs) Easier said than done. Right. But I think that's the overall advice. Um, and if you do make the casting finals, like you, you will get a lot more coaching and I don't want to say coaching because I don't want to make you someone you're not, but just, just like, um, we're here for you, and we're we're yes. here to support you through this process. Um, advice if you get on the show? Yes. Play the game. I'm not play the game. You know, like you're building your resume mm-hmm. as why you deserve to win if you're in the final two. So if you're not doing anything, if you're not making any big game moves, you know. I mean, you might win depending who you're sitting next to, right? I mean, so, we've so, seen so. it. You, you never know, but like. I mean, am I the the wizard of Big Brother knowledge and how everybody should play the game? No, but I, I, I mean, we all know. 
Like, we know what the fans like, and we all know the fans are going to be screaming at you, like, why didn't you make that move? You know? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Just (laughs) have fun and be competitive. Passion across the board. Passion in the auditioning process. Passion in your video. Passion when you're meeting with the producers. Passion in the house. Yeah. I I call it fire in the belly. Like, do you have that fire in the belly? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Right. I want to stick this in here because we can take it out if you don't want it. If you don't want it, so I'm going to say uh, one final thing that I know we get a lot, or I get a lot, and I feel we're always kind of defending against is people always um, like to kind of attack casting or like the casting process if they don't like the cast that season. Now. I feel like it's, don't you guys kind of create a pool of people and give it to them? And then, you know, the show picks who they want. I guess I just wanted to give you an opportunity if you wanted to say anything about a lot of fans that get very vocal about, this is Jesse's fault. He solely cast these 12 people and now we're raging on Twitter over it. Oh, man. Um... My opinion on this is some people are just never going to be happy. Yep. You know, people are vicious. People are mean. And, you know, like, you know, some of them may just genuinely be upset about like the people that ended up on the show and some just Mm -hmm. take it to that level of hate. And we all feel it. Nicole, you probably got some of it. Like everybody, Donnie from season 16 might have gotten it. And it's Donnie. Like, who doesn't love Donnie? But no, there's people no. that just like to complain and be upset. And I, I, I'm sorry you feel that way. And I'm sorry that you take that much energy and effort to, like, to go to Twitter and go there. Like, this isn't uh, – this is – and I'm not going to say I'm the deciding factor or put blame on anyone because blame is just – it's your opinion. There's other people right. that – are watching the show and excited and loved it and want the next season. And no matter what we do, if we find the perfect cast in your eyes, someone else is going to hate the cast. It's like, you know, all we could do is try to find the best people to be on the show. And also we're not psychic. You know, this is a show where people are on the, it's on three nights a week. We have the live feeds. We meet them for a certain amount of time. I would say a really a good amount of time. Mm-hmm. But do we hang out with them for two months every single day to really get to know their personality and everything about them? No. We do the best we can. Yes. We do right. the best we can because we love our show and we love our network. And we're trying to you know, get a great season for you guys. So my, what I would say to them is just, you know, lighten up. <laughs> You know what I would you know what I would say to them? I would say casting is open for a short while longer. So make sure you head over to Big Brother Casting dot TV and uh show us why you should get on that show. You go be the change you want to see in the world. Yes. <laughs> go out there and apply. We're excited for the new season. We're excited to see the new cast. I'm excited to add new Big Brother players to the BB fam because that's my big thing is I I like to be like the welcoming committee. And right now is my pitch, Jesse. I want them to hire me as the in-house like conscience. So no, no, I'm not playing. I'm not playing for money. I'm not playing for anything. I just walk around from room to room and check on people. And if they need hugs, I'm there. If they need someone to talk to, I'm there. That's my pitch. Yeah. Well, the problem is you should have done that not on camera because now we just can't even do it because it, won't, right. it wouldn't be a surprise. Uh, oh. She's been saying this. it. You can edit this out, though. <laughs> yeah, edit it out. I don't know. But really, okay, she ha- you do that. Like, no competitiveness, no fighting people, no need you know, to win. Just like, I'm in there and just like interacting with everybody and making friends and, oh, you need a hug? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I think we can't wait. It, why don't we just give them, like, cell phones and laptops? You know how Big Brother's all about making people comfortable. So, yes, I see that happening. Everybody we, likes that. We, we, we thank you so much, Jesse, yeah. for taking some time out and coming here to uh, let people know more about the casting process and to get those submissions in. Where do you want people to follow you on social media? Or what do you want to leave people <laughs> with Show. from this? Oh yeah, which uh... no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You can find I me. Mean, you can follow me on social media. I 
sorry for some of my pictures. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a human being. Have a, you know, like, I don't know what to say. Uh, and, and you could DM me. I will try to get back to you. But over, like, just like Eric said, he said, I am not going to check. I will check. Mm-hmm. But when I see the same questions, things I've already answered on my Insta story, like I saved it to one of my highlights of just giving advice and stuff. I can't reach out to all of you and I'm sorry, but all of our casting team, we do get DMs and some people are able to reply. Um, and I will, I'll do my best, but I can't promise. Okay. I, I mean, I know that we know the website to go to, to apply. Is there any social, like, is there a specific social media for casting that someone should be following or no, you want everything going right to that website? Uh, yeah. Everything go, cause that, that's where we're going to see everything. Okay. If I get a DM, it, it, doesn't it make more sense to submit a video with right. your name and your age and your occupation? And then there's your video and I get to see you talking and showing your personality. So the DMs, if you DM me, odds are you already applied. Right. So you're most likely DMing me to make sure I got your video and I didn't get the the email confirmation. And But that's yeah. what we discussed here. It's like if you submitted a video, we did watch it. We are still watching it. And we will call you if we want to move forward. If we don't call you by the end of May, it didn't work out. Don't give up. And maybe it'll work out one season. And we go from there. And most importantly, Nicole and I are taking credit for all castings that come from this show. No, I'm totally kidding. I still uh-huh. Thank you so much for just- uh, coming here. And, and we hope that this is going to be an amazing season. Thank you so much for uh, casting it to be a more diverse season. I know we are all excited to see that and excited for the season to start. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Jesse. Oh, that was so great having uh, Jesse here to fill people in, Nicole. I loved it. I know. I I could talk about the casting process all day, every day. (laughs) I wanted to say, um, maybe we should figure out how to get it for uh, our YouTube. But you did a casting show where you showed your videos Mm -hmm. uh, and you talked about the casting process. So if you've ever wanted to see... Nicole's casting videos and such sort. Um, I'm not still sure if because I think that was tea time, so I'm not sure if those are still up in the time. But we should see if we could get that video. I'm sure that they would give it to us, and then we can post it um on our YouTube, or we could do it again and re-show them here. But um, that did exist. That was a fun show. Yes, and I- by both we mean the one that did not receive a call. Yeah, and then the one from the next year that did receive a call. So it's cool to see uh, the big, big difference between the two of them. Yeah, it is. Um, I think we addressed a lot of the things that people want to know. Yes, I don't know if he understood that when I said I want to produce the video that I was setting him up to say it was bad. I think he thinks I was serious. (laughs) Oh, no, I know. I think he knew you were joking. (laughs) He was like, no, I do not ever want you to do that. I was like, no, that's no. good. I want to tell people, no, don't do that. The main thing is be yourself. And that's such a yeah. cliche umbrella thing. But as long as you find what makes you you and you hone it and emphasize it and give examples and give stories and you're not doing all the superficial, like he was saying, I'm smart, I'm funny. Tell people how you're smart, what you've achieved. Be funny. Don't tell people you're funny and just own who you are. Because if you lie, they're going to find it. And if you lie, good luck. <laughs> On live feeds after two, three, four, five days of you eating on camera, sleeping on camera, going to the bathroom on camera. And I will say, you know, all jokes aside, I'm sure it can hurt that if you are someone that is watching this show and you make it to that process where you find yourself in front of Jesse in person, tell him that you watch this show. Be like, I saw Eric and Nicole's uh, Hello Friends and I and uh, saw you over there. Things like that always help support our shows. That's what we mean when we say share them. If you find yourself in front of a casting director and you got there because of us, share that information. If you found this show valuable and think that someone you know might uh, like what the, you've learned here, share it with them. Again, it is the Easter season, so you will probably be around family and friends this weekend. Share the show with them. Steal their little phones and 
download the podcast. And of course, while you're there, make sure that you follow, like, and subscribe wherever you watch our content. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all of those fun places. Nicole and I together as Hello Friends and separately. Um, also make those stupid kid TikToks. And I think they're pretty great. <laughs> I was just going back through some of our old TikToks. They're hysterical. Yeah, but he's uh, saying don't send them in as a, as your audition. Oh, and- I'm not talking about casting. I'm saying for you and I in general, I just remembered about, he mentioned like the kids doing the dances on TikTok. I was scrolling through our TikToks and remembered, hey, we did so many fun TikToks. We did do some great ones. But if you're auditioning, do not send in a Snapchatted filtered video. Do not send yeah. in a TikTok like you can't see my face and I'm dancing. Like, no, 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 no. And when you are in those final two chairs and you got there because you got cast by Jesse because of this show, we expect a shout out. Well, I mean, anybody that's smart would walk around those live feeds and be like, hello, friends. And then, you know, we're talking about you when we're doing live feed updates then. But if you need to find our socials and find uh, all of our shows, uh, what our live show schedule is, that is over at HelloFriendsPod.com. Click on the Find Us Live page for all our socials and our schedules. And then, of course, you got a little bit of time left. That is www.BigBrotherCasting.com tv to get those applications in don't be someone that complains all season that you didn't like the cast go get yourself cast and keep the hope alive you can get that phone call till the end of may and just because it doesn't work out this season doesn't mean it can't work out on a future one doesn't mean it won't work out with maybe a different show just always keep the hope alive make sure when you submit that video you want to cast you you are proud of it you are confident with it you love it you'd want to watch it time and time and time and time again and don't be afraid to show it to friends and family because they're going to be watching you when you're on the show anyway so there's no room for embarrassment And please, for the love of God, do not send anything to our homes. Bye for now, everybody. Friends. Bye, friends.